Hey everybody, got a new load from IMI today. This is their 115 grain 9mm die cut jacketed hollow point. We have our 3.6 inch, 4.95, 7.72 and 16 inch carbine to check the velocity of these. Pro Chrono Pal Chrono, 10 feet, it's about 35 degrees outside today. I don't know if the camera will focus or not, but you can see the check at a hollow point here is a little differently designed than the EX Star. So once we get the chronograph out of the way, we'll run these through the gel. Up first is our 3.6 inch barrel. Eleven twenty three, eleven thirty seven, eleven sixty nine, eleven sixty, eleven fifty, and now our four point nine five inch barrel. Twelve oh one, twelve fifty nine, twelve forty seven, twelve twenty one, twelve forty seven, and now our seven point seven two inch barrel. Thirteen fifty two, thirteen twenty eight, thirteen twenty four, thirteen oh nine, thirteen twenty nine, and finally our sixteen inch carbine. Thirteen forty five, thirteen twenty nine, twelve ninety nine, thirteen twenty five, thirteen thirty eight. All right, we have our gel set up. Our BB was calibrated at five hundred and seventy six feet per second to three and a quarter inches at ten feet. We'll start with the 4.95 inch barrel with bare gel. We'll see if we get any expansion. If we do, we'll try it against denim. And then if we have some good room on the block, we'll try with the 7.72 inch barrel. We'll try to get a velocity off of these. If not, the averages were taken on the same day. 12. Impact velocity was 11.92. It's kind of hard to see because the gel is starting to get discolored. This is the second melting I've done of it. But there's our wound cavity right there. We have full penetration that's blocked. It's about 15 and a half inches my mold is. You've got temporary cavities starting in the immediate inch or so, carrying on down through it. Settles down. I think we hit our calibration BB so we lost a little piece of jacket there I'm not sure if that's why we found the we found the bullet in the ice water jug behind it it did expand there's our recovered round you can see some expansion there not a whole lot it did penetrate the entire block let me see if I can get another angle of the uh, wound channel here and we'll go to the 7.72 uh, inch barrel that'll give us some more velocity and see if it does any better. Here's a head-on shot of the wound channel there. So 
So now we'll take a shot with the 7.72 inch barrel Evo. Bear gel again as well. Velocity was 1,338 feet per second. So it looks like at that velocity, that's too much for this particular 115 grain jacket at hollow point. I don't know if you can see or not, but we have extensive fragmentation of that hollow point, pretty much. I don't see many petals left on it at the end. You should be able to see right there starting on the wound track, lead, and jacket fragments all the way to the end there. The block, like I said, is about 15 inches now, 15 and a half. It is at the edge. It probably may have bounced into the ice jug a little bit and came back, but it didn't penetrate through it. You can see some more of those fragments. I'll see if I can get another shot here in a second. You can see some of the lead there going up the track. There's some more. Settles down a little bit, just a little more, and there's our bullet right there. It's actually nose down at the edge there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but interesting. Well, there you have it, a short and long barrel test with this die cut jacketed hollow point from IMI. Personally, I'm still of the favor of the 124 grain and 147 grain loadings in 9mm. They offer good penetration and good weight retention and expansion. The 7.72 inch barrel test was interesting. It shed a lot of its parts into the gel, leaving a pretty nasty looking wound path. But the 4.95 inch one, while well, it expanded, it didn't expand as big as I've seen the most popular flavors do. So there you have it. Thanks again for watching everybody. Until next time.